Hello and welcome to K-Stop Fuse's K-Pop Podcast. Hello guys, this is Jeff. I am an editor here at Fuse. And always, I'm joined by the only crayon that I want to pop, Tina <laughs> Zhu. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to K-Stop. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, it's been a, a, cra- a, a great time. <laughs> But um, we're here back we're again back. for another for another week. We're as, kind of struggle boating today. As, as fall. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't know what it. Maybe it's Jeff's the weather. Been traveling. Been traveling. <laughs> We've I been. I am slightly hungover. Is that okay to say on here? Uh, you know hungover. what? I'm gonna say it's okay to yeah. say on here because so this is our things thing. are registering a little slowly <laughs> for me today. Yes. So <laughs> deal. Please bear with us. Um, but as always, thank you so much for for coming in. Don't don't drink too much. Don't travel too much, people. Actually, travel a ton. Do what you got to do. Okay. Because we're here to support you guys, and you guys are here to support us. As every week we do on K Stop, um, we always look for your guys's comments all these things we love talking to you guys about the different topics that are going on and um and yeah no we uh we love seeing everything you guys have to say so um yeah let's just get right into it last week we asked you guys um who your favorite comeback of the week was um we had releases from infinite dia or dia i mean is what i meant to say and jiyun uh and Infinite was just the clear winner here. Clearly, Infinite is a favorite of, of the K Stop listeners. They won with 93% of the votes. Oh my God, that's which is cra- crazy. Well, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, Jiyun came just barely in second place, but with, um, with about 4% of the votes, and Daya came in with Solid. 3%. So. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't expect Daya to actually almost tie Jiyun. Right. So. There you go. Good job, everybody. Um, I think that inf- I think Infinite was both of our votes too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember saying like I like yeah. I like Bobby World yeah. or Bobby Doll, but Bobby Doll. Um, <laughs> it was a, a little Bobby too Doll. like gimmicky. Right. Yes, but you know I'm still feeling all those releases. Well, yeah, still feeling these guys. I'm I'm still st- Infinite seems to be doing great and right. same with I've been, I've been bumping and, that album actually yeah, yeah. It's, it's good stuff your no your was this your first Infinite album no no my first Infinite album was our first album oh, but I okay, just okay. like stopped you... but in like after maybe <laughs> the first uh, maybe the first two albums I listened to and then nice. I didn't really like the direction they were going, but they're uh, kind of like bringing me back into They're it, bringing you so, back. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. No, thank you guys as always for voting. Thanks for the, the, you know, we love seeing your guys' votes. We love seeing your guys' comments. So many ways to get in touch with K-Stop. As always, feel free to hit us up on Twitter. I'm Jeff underscore underscore Benjamin. And I am Hey underscore Tina with three eights. Yes, yeah, so you can use the hashtag K-Stop. We saw some of you guys hitting up topics that we're going to hit on today. Um, we just, yeah, there you can leave comments on Fuse.tv, leave mm-hmm. comments on iTunes. So many ways. We're on Stitcher. So many ways to, right, to get you involved. Can't, can't miss us. You can't no excuse to skip an episode. miss us. Yes, but I'm, I'm actually pretty jazzed about this episode in particular. I think me we have too. some yeah, cool good, stuff. Great comeback. Stuff that surprised me, but I'm excited to Definitely. get into the details in a second but tina wh- where do you want to take us with this episode um, first and foremost hmm. <laughs> let's start with got seven Ooh, okay that's a good kind of on the infinite like kind of mm-hmm. boy band comeback yeah. wave so mm. infinite or not infinite what am i saying right now <laughs> got seven told y'all i'm slow today so <laughs> got seven returns with their second full-length album yes um as a follow-up i guess to their EP flight log um, mm-hmm. departure and this album is titled flight log turbulence hey <laughs> and <laughs> as you can tell there is an aviation theme going on um, I was a little bit taken aback by the title because I felt like turbulence was almost a little too technical mm. I-, I was hoping for something like like misconnection I thought that would have been like oh that's a cooler sounding right but other or, than or the take al- off wait what was the first one called departure, departure? oh so that's, that's same take, thing. <laughs> take off would have been the same thing but um yeah so other mm. than the title kind of throw me off um the the single is um I 
well, I think it's really solid. It's called uh, mm. hard carry. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually not sure what hard carry means. <laughs> it's not r- making sense to me, but um, it is like kind of like an electro dance track. Would you say is that accurate? Yeah. Like electro dance kind of hip hop track. Kind of BTS rip off. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just I gonna go right into it. This. I knew it was coming. I, I was. I was like, okay, listening to this, I'm like. This kind of gives me fire vibes. It's and then I'm listening like this is very much this is just like mm. fire, but yes, but <laughs> with obviously like very distinct kind of like Jackson's voice is very distinct and yeah. you know things like that. Um, my boy JB's <laughs> voice is he's killing it. Um, I think <laughs> I think JB's portion is verse is actually the best part of the song. Mm. A bit more harmonizing. It's um, yeah. Like I always love his voice. I think it's so smooth. Um, yeah. Um, the, the video. So the, I guess let's just get into the video because right? it's big, right. clearly like big budget. Um, well, I, I want to go back to the song a little bit, okay. if, if you will, if okay, you, cause, okay. because I automatically heard this and I'm like, oh, this is sounding very familiar. Like right. the trap snares and everything yeah. and everything. And then they just went right. They didn't even like, in my opinion, you know, I, I, I got seven has been a very hit or miss group with me. I mm-hmm. want it, you know, I liked watching them and things like that, but lots of times, I don't know. Like I, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling the fly song from the last album. Oh, that's right. I and love that. Song. I feel like we're on totally different pages. With <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I love their previous one before that, the if you do song, cause mm-hmm. I was like, okay, maybe they're going, for this more emotional, mm-hmm. you know, sort of uh, sensual sort of sound or whatever. But then they kind of came with this really hard sound right. that just, in my opinion, doesn't exactly, it's not It's not translating to me and very much feels like fire ripoff because they right. even go like right into, it was like, it felt like they were like ready to do the exact right. same chant. Like I was right. kind of singing the songs over themselves yeah, as yeah, like yeah. a test almost. And I'm like, man, you know, I, I was really rooting for God seven with this one. Cause it seemed like right. there's a lot of momentum with them. The fly, you know, fly wasn't my favorite, but I respected it for what it was. But fly then, definitely had a very, very distinct sound. To yeah. It. And yeah. it kind of made them stick out a little more. You know, I got what they were going for. I'm like, okay, it's kind of like the next step in that. Right. And then they and it was com- smoother. It was, Yes, the flow in there. they were coming a little smoother, exactly, and that's what I think they were. They found like this sort of sweet spot, even right, if I didn't yeah. love that song. Right. But then, oh come on, you guys, with this song that sounds just like the fire. Actually, song. now, yeah, it's when you think about it, it's like fire, and then yeah. you got like that hard carrying. Yeah. It's like the same. Yes, it's that same. You know, same aggressive. Flow. You know, chanting. You yeah. know, coming at it hard. You know, it's very EDM influenced. Yeah. Very like you know, hard knocking in that way. You right. know, also, but while also still being very hip hop. Right. And I don't know. I was simply. I was honestly just waiting. You know, even like the progression of the. You know, kind of starts yeah. with like sort of a rap bit and then progresses into this right. more Jackson vocal bam, part. Bam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so I will I, say. A, Okay, so going back to JB's part, we'll say that's the one like yeah. very different part of the Ex- yeah. song. Like, okay, no. I don't think there was an equivalent to that in in Fire. I'll, yeah, I'll agree so with I that. So I wish they had gone with that a little more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I definitely prefer Fly over this. Um, mm. But this song bumps. But I guess if you had heard this first before Fire, would you have sure. liked it? Yeah, I mean that's the thing, right? Is that like, I, it's it's you know, I always. I try my best to judge music out of context, right. but you know, there is this context to it that it's kind of like overshadowing my thought, but you know, yeah, it, it's like, it's a, it's a bumper, right. you know, it, it's good in that it's way. Just, I mean, it is what it is. It did come after fire. Uh, Every yeah. fan probably who has heard both songs has probably compared. Oh yeah. The YouTube the comments right away, were going comments off. Were, <laughs> were mess or, right. Yeah. And you know, BTS fan, they are, vicious right. as our got seven fans vicious in right. the best way possible i should yeah, say yeah. you know there there's so much passion for these groups so yeah i don't know like um you know yeah g- given just you know strictly as a song it's good mm-hmm. you know but granted i i was sort of excited to see them sort of explore this you know even like the mm-hmm. colors and the you know the album cover and things like the concept right. foes were kind of making me think oh they're gonna stay with this sort of emotional you know right. uh you called it smoother, you yeah. know, and I, I was thinking that too. And then this sort of tricked me right? <laughs> or unex- it was unexpected, right, right. but they definitely. And I, I, I peeped a few tracks on there. I didn't, I didn't get through the whole thing, but I got to maybe track 
four. Mm. And I feel like overall, at least the first few tracks are very on that same wavelength. Oh, see, that's interesting. But um, It's just like the right song came about. And they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, like, so th- I, I looked at the, the credits, like writing and production credits. And like uh, Jackson ha- actually has quite a few tracks on there that he. Helped, oh, that's um, awesome produce and compose um saw mark on there a couple times yeah um jb and um yeah i'm hoping to hear like a bit more smooth like r&b yeah. you know personality yeah, too yeah because yeah, that's what i wonder too right is that like you know who has been sort of creating this direct is this from the band or is this what the band wants to do you know yeah, like i don't know maybe they th- maybe they're like oh we did that smooth shit on like <laughs> on on departure because now here's our f- turbulence right well, now it's turbulent so it has to be a little <laughs> crazier little crazier a little more upbeat you know <laughs> a bit more aggressive because it yeah. is turbulence i get it yeah uh, maybe like with departure, you always want a smooth departure, right? May, a smooth mm, takeoff. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I don't know. And I get it. You don't want to do the t- same type of sound exactly. for both albums. Exactly. Um, I will say I definitely like departure, like see the light, which was like their, um, the, mm. the second track that they promoted on shows. I love that song. It's probably my favorite track on the album. Yeah. But you know, and I, you I haven't know, heard something like that yet on <laughs> Turbulence, but obviously it only got to like track four. So yeah. And I like the home run song. You remember that follow up single oh, yeah. that I they did? Know. I thought it was so basic. I didn't, I, didn't, I know we're totally on opposite levels. I didn't understand why to that had to be seven. a single, but whatever. <laughs> um, Let's quickly talk about the video right. too, because in my, I, I, I almost felt like, well, okay, there's two there's two parts of this, right? Mm-hmm. So there's like the visuals to me at first, and I was right. like, okay, visuals are cool. This felt like a a more k pop version of mm-hmm. like, you know, like it had the, you know, the scenes and the, you know, the music video sets mm-hmm. and whatnot. And the scenes were interesting, nothing blowing my mind or anything, but You didn't think it was know, okay. Am I the only one who thought this was slightly insensitive that they have a plane crash? I th- and they're, was wondering about this. And they're like commercializing and capitalizing off of that it was a little maybe not in the best that, taste that i just didn't think it was very tasteful right and if, if you remember you know actually speaking of infinite who we were talking about earlier do you remember when there was that i think it was a korean air flight crashed in or it kind of like had a bumpy i don't remember exactly it was something in like a san francisco airport okay. and maybe one or two people like you know died from it and oh, they they me. had a a plane crash motif in their video for the destiny song oh. and they removed it. That's why there's this version B of the, of oh, the, um, I didn't know of that. the song. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, I don't know, like people are, it's still like a rocky. I think it's always a little yeah. tough, a little scary to put that stuff in. Granted, they took that turbulence thing, maybe a little too very literal. It's literal. very, very literal. Um, yeah, I just, that was my first reaction to be honest. I'm like, like yeah. plane crashes like recently there's been a lot of personal tragedies surrounding yeah. that it's probably not you know in the you know in the best like interests of the group to promote that <laughs> but right. uh yeah i mean other than that um i will i will give them credit for taking the concept all the way <laughs> mm-hmm. um well, even the oxygen mask came out and like that's almost like kind of like right. a trigger, you know, in right. those kind of ways, too. Yeah. Yeah. A um, little off putting, perhaps. And then, yeah, I don't know. And then the trees during JB's part, that made zero sense to me. I was trying to find oh, something yeah. online to explain that. That made no, it was like <laughs> I think it was they just were like cool Christmas trees. Yeah. And it wasn't even trees in the forest. OK, like you crash in the forest. And if you were singing the forest, that would make some sense. <laughs> but he it was like a completely white background and he was just walking around like yeah. another dimension yeah all white and then <laughs> christmas trees right that one i i, I feel like that, that was just like a zero sense. something that they were like this is cool let's put it in there but you it know? wasn't cool it didn't <laughs> match it was... the video yeah i guess it was a yeah it was kind of like a striking difference i'm like you of... really had to put my boy jb <laughs> in front of these wax trees jb like i don't understand um and i didn't really i don't know the whole like um was it was it um uh Jing Young, formerly known as Junior, mm. um in the <laughs> in the water tank? I think so. Is that him? So I guess they were like going in to rescue him. Yeah. And, he was, and then there was all these water scenes right afterwards. Was he was was this the theme of you're trying to establish yourself and like escape from any 
anything holding you back or you're I don't know because yeah. I, 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 I saw the lyric translations and mm-hmm. you know um, I think it was along the lines of you know you know I'm passionate I get it you know right um, anything that I go for becomes a success so maybe it's like breaking out I don't know I also yeah. still don't know what I hard like carry means you know what hard carry means <laughs> I, I is don't. that like a is that like an aviation term that I just don't know about is is it I was thinking you know what the Korean title is there's a Korean title and the the English title is translated to hard carry. It's like did something get Korean lost? Is the Korean title just phonetically? Oh, hard is that carry? what it is too? I'm pretty sure it is. So that's the, I mean like hard carry, right? Like I I don't know. Like I I kept actually reading. I initially thought this comeback was called Hard Candy because I think I just like <laughs> that would make thought, more sense actually. Thought it was called something like that, and then I'm like, oh, it's hard carry. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, um, the the Korean title is. Hadokeri, which just yeah. phonetically. I wonder if we're just missing something or missing something in translation, but yeah, we're, we're, I mean, it's. Oh my, I'm reading like some of the Google results for hard carry and um, an article titled Got Seven's hard carry concept was on point while song was exciting but familiar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so see. Everybody, I mean, everybody knows. Alone. Everybody is like, everybody all right, whatever. Knows. They're like moving on. Yeah. And, you know, I'll even say too, like the other part of the video that kind of was like the remarkable point to me was the choreography. And once again, I kind of felt like there. I saw a lot of similarities mm-hmm. to maybe like fire or save me or things like that with bts because yeah. they were going for that kind of aggressive all in sync it was you know? the, the but, choreography seemed kind of messy and that's what i was going to say is that it didn't translate well right. maybe they didn't practice it well enough <laughs> or it wasn't like <laughs> they're like we don't have time just go up there just do it yeah do it. like it just sort of felt a little like too you know it felt like a, it, a misstep i it don't know a little sloppy yeah, yeah and you know i was really rooting for guys you know and, and the album's doing great like from what I, I i saw it was like number two or three on yeah. us itunes like it's doing amazing God Seven always does really well i think over, overseas with international fans at least i mean even even at home like yeah you know like always resonate so yeah and you know i think they're still like not at that like top tier level you know they're right. really close and i just i don't know i, I i'm you know i'm, I'm kind of rooting for them but you know right. at the same time was, i'm just glad jyp one jyp boy band dropped a good album so uh oh oh my I, gosh you know, y'all know i love 2 p.m but that album not do it for me look at that the single was fine the single was fine but the album just Think didn't didn't do I'm it i'm still listening to jung k's song I guess. oh yeah he, that i mean yeah he, he's always <laughs> consistent but. yeah well well i don't know got seven we I, i'm very curious to hear i i, I remember our, our first got seven episode earlier this year mm-hmm. got a lot of interest a lot of lots of uh, attractive attracted a lot of fan comments and things like that so we really want to know what you guys think yeah. of, of got seven and everything so please let us know on twitter fuse i do wherever. like the song for the record so i'm not gonna i mean you know for what it is <laughs> i'll just say it's probably not gonna get my vote <laughs> okay fair well who should we hit to that next note, though moving on yeah moving on to let's go to let's switch to some females girl group mm-hmm. come back a pink yeah they're back with only one only um one. remind me the album title pink revolution, revolution. right because every one of their <laughs> ep's albums has pink something wow um because amazing obviously pink is you know <laughs> their thing their concept and their thing and their whole their whole image is very flowery and innocent yeah and, um very i guess uh what's the word dreamy yeah of, um and they are always like a breath of fresh air and you know that you can you can count on them to bring like kind of what's the word um like something soothing i think <laughs> so um yeah wow yeah. what a lovely introduction i, I like them um, i will <laughs> oh, say they, they're, i like them i will say they're very safe mm-hmm. this song is very safe for them yeah I, uh, <laughs> only you is um i like the song a lot the video i don't care for mm. that's int- yeah i mean right because so a pink i don't know i have like a weird in my opinion relationship with a pink because okay. For the longest time, I was just kind of like, you know, I knew they were really popular. I knew they were like, you know, were definitely capitalizing this innocent, you know, mm-hmm. sort of refreshing whatever thing. And then, you know, like it just got really old to me. Like yeah. I was just like, you know, if you remember their comeback from last summer, they did that song. It was called Remember. And, you know, I the song was fine, 
But like they were, you know, these are grown women yeah. who like are like, you know, playing games in a field and right. holding balloons and, you know, like looking like little children. And I'm like, right. this is not, it's not believable anymore. Like right. they're all over 18 at this out. point. Yeah. Right. And this one I actually, and I was kind of hearing, you know, before the comeback and things like that, you know, that they were going a little more mature, a little more, you know, uh, less, you know, cute fun you know right. and i think it were it at least was more believable here like okay. i thought they looked pretty good they looked good right. in the video i wasn't at getting least they weren't in a field playing games they weren't <laughs> out in a field you know like when you know spinning pinwheels this and time whatnot. they they were on the same rooftop that me coon from 2 p.m strolled across in the albi video oh the is that what that Albie. is that's the same damn roof of like that cathedral or whatever that, the hell they because i like that oh my gosh wow i didn't put that together cool I was like, that looks familiar i'm telling you k-pop has like four sets total so <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah but you know like the song was like you know it, it, it was it was an a pink song yeah and you know like, you're like this is a pink very song. 80s you know there were even certain like you know they're, they're very into like those sort of 80s 90s mm -hmm. hip-hop samples you know but right. putting that on a pop song and there was certain parts where i'm like hasn't this been in a past song before yeah. that's another thing there doesn't seem to be a lot of growth with a pink sonically mm -hmm. um this like if you were to give me a random track of theirs i would not be able to tell you which album it's from because uh. they all kind of just blend together for me <laughs> but at the same time i don't have anything against them so yeah it's just fine like they're cute I, I think they're really cute they're all gorgeous yeah and you know like i sometimes they really nail it for me like do you remember in um it was last time they came back with like a fall song it was the i think it was called um Oh my gosh, it just totally slipped my mind now. But um, there was this really good song that they released last fall. And I was like, oh, this is kind of like almost like a throwback to that. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like sometimes in my opinion, they really nail it. Sometimes they don't. And like, I think they, um, oh my God, oh, it's called True Love or. Of course it is. Oh, it's literally it's just called, called Love. L -U -V. Oh, of course. <laughs> L U V E love. Um, yeah. And that song was really, really good. I remember like it was a big success and things like that. And I think this is like a good look for them, you know, mm -hmm. instead of, you know, summer almost kind of like lends itself to being a very like cheerful, happy, you know, but like almost like coming back in the fall kind of like lends itself to being right. Okay. We can they are be a little more mature. Kind of fall breezy yeah soothing kind of aesthetic and I, and I like that with that you know I mean their youngest member at this point is now 20 years old you know it, it was right. time to you know show something a this little is a step in the right direction I think it's 100 percent it. it's right <laughs> and you know they even I, I was reading a little bit more about this and they were saying that yeah we're kind of trying to create you know you focus on beautiful and like more complex music. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they really hit the complex rather than right. the fun and catchy know stuff. You know, <laughs> but I think at the very least, I think it was a step in the right direction. Okay. So, you the know, video that filter has got to go. I feel like the whole thing was put inside of a cloud. Oh, I couldn't, yeah. Like, it was just hazy and annoying. Everything was the just colors. like flat. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, I don't I think like that. I don't like, is that a thing now? There's been multiple videos where there's some annoying, hazy filter, and I feel like yeah. I can't see anything. I gotta like <laughs> dial up the contrast and brightness. Yeah, I think that's just that that K-pop filter, or that's like the look, you know? I don't it's know. Like, I don't like that. That's not, not a good look. Not feeling like it. That. Mm, yeah. But um, the girls look beautiful. Um, I haven't actually listened to the rest of the album. I imagine it's probably similar to the single. Yeah, you know, I will say, a pink of all people have some solid albums albums or solid album tracks too mm -hmm. you know some of it is kind of throwaway but i remember like when they released their first full-length album i think this was back in like 2012 or something mm -hmm. um that had the um yeah there were some like really good album tracks on it and that was like when i was still like still learning how to like listen to a full k-pop album right. and being like you know i don't know about this but no right. it was really good so yeah, i'm like curious daunting. you're like oh god well because you know i had <laughs> heard more than six tracks <laughs> yeah and you know i heard so many things that the albums are not worth it it's only about the single it's you tough know? to put out a solid 
full length K-pop oh it's album. so and there's tough. so many albums with just like a bunch of throwaway tracks yeah. I'm like, why, is, why did you even drop this album exactly you know and like i think even this year in particular has been kind of tough for mm-hmm. full length albums but yeah no I'm, I'm i actually am excited to to get into that a little more too yeah 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 so a pink i think i think <laughs> a step in the right direction I, i'm yeah. glad you know and i'm kind of wondering i always you know i see that they sell so well that they're so mm-hmm. popular but they still don't have that feeling like that girls generation had even though they're kind of they don't up push there. the envelope in any way i do you they, think that's why is that they never I had that they're just a safe they're safe kind enough of aesthetic is safe yeah. um you know they really fit that ideal korean beauty mm. look yeah um yeah Mm, interesting yeah i'm just sort of waiting for them to like you know they're huge they're but not, like they're definitely not edgy like no. girls generation like they got edgier in the beginning they were very bubble, bubble right. gum and like they still touch on that a lot but yeah um yeah they i feel like with every concept they kind of push it a little more girls yeah. generation i mean um not to turn yeah. this into a Sonia Shide talk, but no, that's just comparing the two. Yeah, right? no, that's interesting. You know, I, I, cause I always kind of wondered, but yeah, I think you're right. So maybe this is the first step. Right. Edgy pink coming at you soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm feeling it. Let me know what, what you guys are thinking too. We want to, we want to hear about a pink. And, and last but not least, last but not least, another girl group comeback. Uh-huh. But this sound is extremely different and they're yes. not afraid to get a little wacky. Hey, hey, hey. Crayon pop. Yes. The original helmet girls. <laughs> the original helmet girls oh as God, opposed to the second like ones. So outrageous. I don't even know what to like yeah. how to react. I'm <laughs> like so like just a mixture of confused, impressed and you know, I, really? Yeah, I'm very intrigued by them. I don't know a lot about them, mm. um, but they come back with the song uh, "Doom Cheat." Yes, "Doom Cheat," which is, um, I guess, what's that? What's the? What do you call a word that describes a, a sound like hiss? Oh, buzz. um, it's an, like an onomatopoeia. Ana- yes, that. Um, so that's what it is. Um, "Doom <laughs> Cheat." <laughs> um, it's difficult to say, not the easiest no, song title. But I like it. Um, okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna let you tell yeah. me what you thought of this. You know, I will very say, mixed yeah. Well, honestly, like I, I, I was watching it and like you know, like just been a crazy week or whatever, and this automatically just like lifted me up, and I was like, Same. yes. I thought I was going to hate it. <laughs> I know, right? Because that's what, so. Well, I'll say. You know, I I know we we talk a lot about context and things like that, but, you know, Crayon Pop, in my opinion, kind of really is continuing what this sort of weird, funky uh, dance tracks that like... Psy-esque. Psy-esque, but I also think Tiara-esque. And I know... Oh, I thought you were totally going to roll your eyes at me with that. I mean, I don't like Tiara, (laughs) but I see what you're saying. But yeah, like, you know, Tiara was always known making these sort of outrageous, Mm -hmm. you know, very kind of like throwback-y, but Mm -hmm. like wacky also at the same time dance tracks. And this is totally what that reminded me. Like, right when that beat came in, I was like, oh, this is so in that vein, in that field. And almost kind of like what Orange Karma was doing too, you know, he's sort of like out there groups and Orange or sorry, Crayon Pop is very wacky and out there too, but I really loved it. I don't know. It felt fresh and exciting to me and and I liked it. I really liked it. I was, I was torn a little at first because, you know, I don't, I'm not super on board with K-pop concepts or either too gimmicky Mm. or or almost wow. like like inviting people to laugh at K-pop. Sure. And there's always there's that's a a line they can easily cross in K-pop. Yeah. Um cuz I don't like people perpetuating the stereotype that K-pop is just gimmicky and s- like not being taken seriously like Kanam style. Yeah. Like that. But I think they really did a good job with this cuz they were they made it very clear that they weren't taking themselves seriously. <laughs> right. And um I thought I I feel like they're really really trying hard to make the dance 
thing. Oh, go viral um, go or something. Viral. Yeah. And it's very obvious that they're trying to, but I'm actually here for it because I actually like. The, Wait, I which one? The, the, the little hand, the hand thing? thing. They oh. kept doing it. They wouldn't stop. They even they would even stop, sit there, look at the camera, and then start doing it. Again. Yeah. Well, that's the I thing too. It was hilarious. See, I wrote a no. I I wrote I wrote I wish the dance was better or a little more like yeah. fun. I don't know. I was kind but of like that dance reminded me of a dance you would do. Um, mm. In elementary school, like that's it's not a new dance, but I feel like they they're bringing it back. Oh, At so they're kind like, of I, like I mean, obviously it probably wasn't. Mm. Well, I guess like in the U.S., <laughs> people did that dance when they were little. oh, like it the little like, like, like a, walk like an Egyptian yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's I don't fun. Know if, like that's where they got the inspiration oh, from. Well, now that it's I almost know a this. little bit like that, but right, not so aggressive. <laughs> Okay, all right. Then I'm I'm a little more here for it. You I don't know. know. Um, I love catchy dances. And but things like that. I like the stuffed animal that kept playing the sax. I will yeah. say without the without the brass in there, <laughs> I probably wouldn't like the song as much because it yeah. is such an easy way to make it catchy. Yes, exactly. And right. We about this in previous episodes, of course. Yeah, you know, like that saxophone just you know isn't going anywhere. The brass right. isn't going anywhere in K-pop. Right. But no, I think they, you know, I, I liked it too. I liked the stuffed animal. It was cute, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. You know, I thought I liked, you know, the retro like bell bottoms and things yeah. like that. You know, they look they looked good and, and mature without right. you know going so hokey with it. Like if you remember. Um, I, or I don't know if you, if anyone remembers. I don't think it was made that much of a splash. But they did the song last year. I think it was FM, that had like a Power Rangers concept to it. Oh my God. And the song itself was very good in my opinion. Like I, it actually was a very good song. But it was just had this hokiness to it that kind mm-hmm. of like, in my opinion, like really overshadowed it and like yeah. all these things. But this kind of like stands on its own. I think, and that's why I like it. Do you it. think this? meets that standard that they set with <laughs> bar 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 is that the name of the um song? i mean i i to well, um fun fact i i load the bar 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 oh, i don't and like I, it i i did not think it was i i was very annoyed <laughs> that like it was kind of like once again sort of this representative k-pop video once yeah. again you know it didn't take off in the way like gangnam style did and things right. like that but you know they they played for lady gaga and all these things and you know that stuff was kind of like you know, I, I think I was echoing what a, I think probably what a lot of K-pop fans were thinking at the time. Like, oh, man, like again, <laughs> you know, like, right. but, you know, I'm not that's not to take away anything from crayon pop or anything like that. But, you know, I think this was a step once again, a step in the right direction for right. them. You know, I don't know how amazing it's going to do, but I'm kind of I'm rooting for them now. Once yeah. again. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, um, like I'm in to it all right i want to i want it to do well for them for the mm-hmm. sake of them not needing to yeah like have some hokey hokey power rangers helmet concept right. whatever they're, you know they're a company like chrome entertainment yeah they must just like funnel all of their fu- <laughs> uh funds into these elaborate concepts they, and sets. they must like that's it's crazy it looked, yeah it looked really high budget too and you right. know crayon pop hasn't really been around for a moment so yeah you know and that bar 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 has been a you know that was what two or three years ago so yeah yeah, yeah. So I, yeah I wonder how it's gonna resonate with um international and uh, fans yeah i'd love to see it you know make make a splash i, I want them. them i want to see a live performance of this i need to see that dance like done live <laughs> if they win number one i won't even be mad oh my gosh well we'll, we'll see <laughs> i'm very curious um yeah no i i mean i'm, I'm rooting for them I, I hope it you know works out well for them because i think you know like this could be a new era per se yeah, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough it's a tough time out there, you know. Let's be honest. So. People people are already speculating: is this going to be another kind of viral, really big mm. hit? For I, w- them, I would so. not be mad about that, not at all. So which comeback? It's your vote, Jeff. Let's week. see. I mean, that's the thing. So I don't know, like between Crayon Pop and A Pink, for me at least, it's them too. Oh, I kind of figure that since you yeah. had nothing good to say. No offense, Scott <laughs> seven. seven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, rooting for them, but not this time. But um, I think I'm going to go with I'll go with Cran Pop because I keep I really? keep thinking about it, or okay. it just automatically lifted me up. A Pink was kind of like, you know, once again for the you know another lap around, right? You know, 
I like like where they're going. Like, but they nothing here to see, folks. Nothing, it was it was yeah. just like you know nothing to see here, folks. You know, there's a little something to see, but yeah. not they weren't they didn't grab me yet. But Cran mm-hmm. Pop, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a, I'm gonna surprise myself yeah. and say Cran Pop. Actually, I'm gonna go Cran Pop too. Whoa, look at yeah. this! I really I never thought, thought I would <laughs> vote for a concept like Cran Pop. Here we are, I surprising think, um, ourselves. Got Seven. Um, I think the album is going to be mm. really great, and I'm going to like the album. But just judging by the music video and the concept, I'm a little disappointed. Mm. Well, so, well, yeah, well. We're not in departure days anymore. But I will say, <laughs> flight log, the flight log era has has impressed me overall. For God's seven, Jeff is not agreeing, obviously. But um, yeah, cram pop. Yeah. Have both of our votes. All right. And be sure to vote on our poll on Fuse.tv. See who's winning, who's not winning, who needs some love, who needs your votes. Mm-hmm. Check it all out. That's on Fuse.tv where we put a playlist, too, of all the different music we are talking about. So definitely check that out. And let's move into some charts where we take a look at the top five K-pop songs on U.S. iTunes right now. Um, This is going to be an interesting countdown because coming in at number five is Prove It by GOT7. GOT7. Did you listen to that song? I listened to that one. I like it. I was actually in the middle of it Mm. um, before... Before you pulled me away to to Before record this, <laughs> yes. So it's it's a good it's a good one. It's a not I like it. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a standout track mm-hmm. from what I've heard from Got Seven. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right. Well, people are liking that one in particular I so if far. Boom Times Three is on there. Mm, the well. one that Jackson um helped produce or write or something. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. Um. I, I like him. A lot of people like him. Jackson, he he was like, like when I saw them live when they came a, a, a couple weeks ago, whatever it was, um, he was definitely a standout member to me. He's a cutie. He's like, <laughs> can't like I? Hey. He's cute. <laughs> Coming in number four is The Eye by Infinite. Oh, nice. Yeah. People are still still feeling that one. I think that one was pretty high last week, too. So, so catchy. Still there. Number three is Skyway by God7. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's up there because it's the first track and people are listening to the first track. Oh, right people away. are coming at it right away. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe, but yeah, that one's that doing. That one was definitely like not impressive to me. Really? That one sounds like a good lead in to Hard Carry, though. So. Okay. I'm curious to check that one out. Number two is Dancing King by UJ Siok oh and God, really? XO. I hate that song. Oh, you didn't like I it? I hate it. Oh, my gosh. Because I saw a lot of interest. People were really, really digging it. I don't but like it. It is not for you. Mm-hmm. It's done. You know, it was number one last week, if you remember. Now it's only yeah. down to number two. For reasons I <laughs> do not know. Wow. <laughs> what we, What kind of, like, what, what don't you like about it? kind of oh okay okay and that's where know. uj silk comes in yeah i it, see mm. and it's just not the right sound for xo I, I don't know where i would listen to the song <laughs> interesting well they're still at number two still going strong but who knocked them out none other than god, god seven, seven with hard carry that's so a Got seven taking a majority of the top five this week that album is still I'm top five on itunes why- I'm surprised by the fact that Prove It was the was I guess a deep cut that made it into top five. Yeah, that that boom times three song that's uh-huh. number nine on the charts right now. So nine, yeah, I like that song. That's it's more. it's behind Mayday. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. You you that sounds like a cool song. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, let us know what you guys are listening to. What what album tracks on Got Seven's album you're digging, etc. Because we want to know. And last but not least, as we get into our deep cut no, section, to the oh, no. oh, this is sad. Tina just did the little I cry crying. thing, crying. Um, yeah, it's it's not 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 a happy topic on, on our deep cuts this 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 week. Secret, who we were kind of talking about last week with with uh, Ji Yoon's comeback, but Secret lost a member in wait. Okay, I take back the crying. Oh. Because for a second, I forgot that they're not disbanding. No, they're not disbanding. I thought they were disbanding for a second. Okay, just kidding. I take it back. <gasps> oh, Tina. 
because I don't care for Sanhua. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We're getting right into it. Yes, Sanhua, original member of Secret, the four-member girl group under TS Entertainment, home to BAP and groups like that. Um, and Sona Mu, she announced that she was leaving the group. Um, and this has been sort of, you know, we were actually kind of talking a tiny bit about this, but now it's time to get a little more into it. Um, just how this group kind of seemed like they were having some internal struggles. Um, I don't know if you remember, uh, Tina, there's been like some, like, there was a bunch of, you know, talk that there was like discord within the group because of certain things they were saying on social media and things like that and not supporting okay. each other's solo comebacks. And basically the quick, um, it's been a, it's, it, they felt a bit disjointed the past couple of years for sure. Right. And you know, they, they haven't even released anything as a group mm -hmm. since 2014. Um, and yeah, so kind of like, you know, from what I understand, you know, I looked into a little bit of the history and, you know, from what I understand, you know, this group kind of came out or, or they, they've been together seven years now. So right, seven years, this, this seven number. year, you know, curse seems to be, mm -hmm. you know, the new thing, you know, if it was five years before it's now seven years and you know, Sun Hua in particular got a lot of attention for the group when she was on that show, Invincible Youth. I don't know if anyone watched mm -hmm. that, but I was reading a lot about how she had sort of this image of like a dumb blonde and, you know. Oh, she's dumb as rocks. What? Like, <laughs> right. nothing she ever said on any variety show resonated with me or made any sense to me <laughs> she i mean she was very open about the fact that she is the visual of the group and you mm. know anybody who's just the visual of the group i already you're already <laughs> knocked down a couple rungs on Ooh. on the on the status ladder in the within the group well, yeah, so. and, and and I had heard, you know, they they, you know, I I didn't watch those shows, or I'm not so familiar with like their variety stuff and things like that. But from what I gathered, it kind of seemed like she was, she really wanted to change this image around, or she was not that comfortable with this image, whether or not it was real or not. You know, kind of like it seems like there was something that want, she really wanted to change, and she got into acting and stuff like that, and. Um, this person seemed like they wanted to change. And I remember, you know, I remember watching this in particular, one of the members from secret, I think it was Hannah or mm -hmm. yeah, Hannah formerly known as zinger, zinger, uh, you know, went on a show and talked about how, you know, they were drinking together and she talked about how she wanted to change her image and all these things. And, you know, son was like, don't talk about me. You know, like I told you that in private, mm -hmm. you know, it seemed like there was the company worked really hard to sort of cover up, you know, any discord between the members, but, you know, it, it seemed like there's something going on here. And right. then she departed the group. So, but Secret, again, is not Someone disbanding. Someone just seems like the girl who just, like, low-key talks shit about you. And <laughs> then just, I just feel like she just doesn't seem like a trustworthy person. Mm. This is a lot of things that I gather just from what I, like, have yeah. seen and heard of her. So, not, never been a big fan of hers. Really? Yeah, because that's the thing, you know, and I, I, I was kind of, you know, I'm, I'm not so, so familiar with their story. I've kind of been playing a lot of catch-up and things like that. But, you know, it does seem like she really worked hard, at least at the beginning, to get her name out there, get Secret's name out there, you know, maybe played up this sort of image that she might have had, whether, I, you know, once I, with K-pop, I never know if people's yeah, if they're images are doing real. Doing it for, you know, the... the for the fans or yeah, just to, you know, right. get ratings up. Yeah, exactly. Or if someone told her to play this or some manager, you know, it's like that. But, you know, there, there's something to be said for at least wanting to, you know, try to show something different. And, you know, maybe she just felt like Secret was not the way to was do that anymore. Or, may or maybe she finally realized she really is the least talented member and it's going to be <laughs> hard to really stack up against everyone else. That's my <laughs> take. So. Right. And from what I've seen, you know, like um, – she did some solo stuff, not a ton, you know, like it was more like she was focusing on more like, yeah, variety and acting stuff. She was like emceeing, you know, and things like that. Um, yeah. And, you know, I, she might have just seen it more so, you know, like as like a dead end of sorts, you know, like this group isn't giving me what I want. You know, we kind of said I feel like at least that's maybe how like Minzy might have been a little bit with 21, um, you know, things like that. And so. But. In that situation, I understand 
her reasoning, Minzy's logic, mm. because she felt like she was being held back. She had yeah. so much more to show. Uh, I don't think that's the case <laughs> with with Ooh, Songwa. Coming but hard. I wish her the best of luck. I never, I'm never gonna wish someone, you know, to fail. Right. But it's. I'm just thinking like, Secret will be fine without you. It's not like you really like did a whole lot vocally <laughs> like let's be real well that's also she was interesting very nice too. to look at though yeah so so secret now you know moving forward like you were saying you know they'll be fine this is now the third group i'm realizing that has cut down to three members we've seen 21 miss a and oh, secret right. yeah. all lose a member and get cut down to right three members and i think that's almost i think that's kind of interesting at the very least like you know granted none of these groups have made comebacks or you know returned with their you know three member lineup but it is kind of interesting you know we've never seen we rarely see a three member group i was gonna say yeah in an industry where people seem to tout larger groups yeah three is three is ambitious in the sense that you yeah. are expecting them to still be successful despite only being a trio. Yeah. But I think three is a good number, to be honest. I think it could work. You know, I think it could work. And, you know, especially because, you know, Secret, well, if, if we want to, you know, do a little memorial for yeah. Secret right now, if you remember their memorial, <laughs> memorial uh, or just remembering, you know, Secret, four, four member a Secret. Four song, right? For Crit. Yes. Um, to me, if Secret always felt like the throwback group, but, you know, if Wonder Girls were very, like, retro-themed and looked mm-hmm. and sound-wise, you know, Secret was was throwback-inspired, but all, all still made things fresh and still kind right. of, you know, brought it to, like, sort of a modern era. It, right. it, their music, to me, always felt very much like Rich Harrison, you know, 2006, the Beyonce Crazy in Love, mm-hmm. Amory One Thing sound. Um think very much inspired by that right their sounds are always very big and bold and i appreciate i appreciate that they really went hard with that yeah and you know you you know they they went kind of in different directions at times too but you know i i remember there were a couple missteps in there in general they did very well but what were some of the missteps there were um i didn't like when they went all like country mm. pop farm girls oh. the whole shy boy thing and also um what was it afterwards starlight moonlight, starlight, moonlight. Yeah. i was not i think that's where they lost me mm. uh i think well actually right after that didn't they go back to their kind of glam electro dance sound with um love po- is move yeah there, there was I, love is move poison i like that because that's that was the lead single off their first studio out studio album and that studio album it was it was a very long album i don't think i could have i don't think i made it through that (laughs) but after that that was the tail end of 2011 Mm. i just kind of fell off and i didn't really get back into secret but i will say um they came back with a couple more singles like poison and talk that that got back into the r&b brass sound that i really like yeah um but i don't think recently i've heard like their 2014 singles. So they haven't re- released anything, obviously, in the past couple of years. But. Right, right, right. You know, and I, I remember, at least with me, Poison was like the one that really made uh, an impact on me, like first and foremost. Like, mm-hmm. or I just remember really like being like, oh, this is secret, you know, and then right. looking back on their stuff and finding out about Madonna like, this and makes Magic. Sense right on. Yeah, you know, I kind of like figured out their place, you know, it was like when with like sort of that really big single. And yeah, and you know, like I agree too, they kind of had like a couple weird missteps, you know, after that, I, you know, talk that was good for like a winter ballad but then they did things like you who and i do i do which i think was once of them once again them going back to like this shy the boy you kind. know and surprisingly yeah. shy boy and starlight what's it called starlight moonlight yeah those did the best on korean charts i think oh yeah no those are big hits i just I'm, I'm i looking understand at the, sometimes <laughs> yeah or you know like they had a lot of momentum going for them you know obviously right so um yeah, it's just like, you know, and and you, they kind of like, I didn't like the sugary stuff because they were more mature at that point. That's what I'm saying, like, sometimes this whole innocent, bubbly, yeah. gu- bubble gummy girlies concepts, like, I feel like the Korean industry just like eats that <laughs> up and they love it. Yeah, but then, then I, you know, I think, it don't, but sometimes it just, it goes on too long in my opinion. Yeah. You know, in 2013, they did the, they did Yoohoo, which was, was a good and catchy song and it was innocent and fresh and like that. But then they did it again with I Do, I Do. And I was just, 
not here for that. Right. And that one didn't do as well. And right. then I remember in 2014, and this was their last single as a as sort of a quartet, as a quartet. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, they did the I'm in love song and I was like, yes, like this is, you know, they look very modern and very, you know, on point and very, you know, like of their age, you know, everything like right. that. And it had that brassy throwback sound too. Right. And I thought it was such a well done com- concept and comeback and, you know, it didn't smash the charts or anything, but I thought it did, right. you know, what it needed to do. And, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't think it's at all a bad note to end, uh, you know, the quartet on per se. Um, I am curious to see how they'll do moving forward, moving forward. Or, or what In they'll do what if, or yeah. if things are going to change or I kind of want them just to take it back to their first single, which is one of my favorite songs of theirs. Granted, Uh-oh. I do love the whole magic Madonna era mm. where, um, that is kind of how they really carved a spot for themselves. Yeah. But I want you back was a real hit for me. It was very kind of, um, nineties girl group R and B vibes for me. Yeah. Oh, um, nice. kind of <laughs> like, it reminds me actually of all saints. I almost want to say no <laughs> saints, but all saints, they all were, saints. they had, you know, those, those big hits back in the nineties. Yes. Um, so oh, I really like, I groups. want you back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a cute song, but, um, you know, still felt, felt, still felt modern and, you know, um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be mad if they kind of went back to the whole secret time era. Like, mm. I really like that EP from them. Um, yeah. I just don't want any more of that shy boy stuff. I can't, no, I cannot. I, th- I think they should leave that to their, their younger group. Yeah, I, I wonder group. how soon after Songhua's departure, they'll that they'll follow up with a new trio album because yeah. like tune just came out with her solo right. um hill song a f- few months ago did her solo yeah um, i don't know if they're just still riding that solo wave and <laughs> i don't know what hana's doing right um yeah I don't yeah, know either. I'm very, very curious for the future of C- Yeah, because we were talking about the you know, these three girl groups that are now all trios, and yeah, we we haven't really seen anyone do anything, much less do it right or do it wrong. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe maybe Secret will be the one to to make it happen. Yeah. Who knows? But yeah, I, I'm very you know curious, and you know, Secret was definitely. I, I think you know this is a good. I, I, I'm glad to at least hear that they're not disbanding, like oh, we were saying that before. Would make, that would make me <laughs> I would actually cry. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, well, no. well I'll, I guess I'm also curious to see where Sohwa goes after this, if she pursues right. acting more, if she sticks with kind of emceeing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something that u- utilizes her face fully. <laughs> You are coming it's hard with the face asset. comments. Oh my gosh, Tina, harsh. <laughs> no, I'm, like it's not that I. I don't want to seem like like I'm bashing another female just because she's beautiful. It's just I've like she. She. I remember one time they asked her to rank like the members' looks, and she mm-hmm. ranked herself first. So I'm like, who does that? Like, um, I would. Just kidding. I, but I'm just like that. I don't know. Like That's, show some humility, girl. Oh what gosh. the hell? That is interesting. Well, on that positive note, on that positive note, I'm gonna go watch that clip. And <laughs> yes, thank you guys. Let us know what you think about your memories of Secret of Sun Hua. Yeah, we want to hear that too. Um, and yeah, let us know. Got Seven, Crayon Pop, A Pink, yeah. anything else we're talking about in this episode? We want to hear Listen it to all. Listen to Boom Times Three. <laughs> Listen to Boom I Times Three. Seven. Tina is putting in that promo. <laughs> For for Got Seven apparently, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thank you guys as always for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Thanks, Thanks so much. For listening. Bye. Bye bye.